It's Wednesday, April 2nd, in the year 2025, also known as the smartest year ever. My name is Gordy, and today we are talking about why rain smells so good. Specifically, we are talking about petrichor, that earthly nostalgic smell after rain and what's actually causing it. Hope I didn't sound like I said pacifically instead of specifically, but I worry that it may have. Moving on. It is April. Um, I freaking love this smell that we're talking about, the, the fresh rain smell, you know, like warm, warm concrete, and the, the rain's just starting to hit, you know, ugh, just nothing like it. I really, really enjoy that smell. It's a very peaceful, enjoyable smell. So I was like, what is causing this? Let's learn a little bit about this, all right? Because I, you know, if you're like me, you have wondered why rain smells so good. You ever step outside after a rainstorm and suddenly want to bottle the sidewalk and wear it as cologne? Well, you're not alone. That's not weird. That's petrichor, the oddly delicious scent of rain hitting dry earth. And the fact that we love it so much, well, that's, that's a little more interesting, I think. Coined in 1964 by two Australian researchers who probably spent a lot of time sniffing dirt, the word petrichor comes from petra, Greek for stone, and ichor, the mythical golden fluid in the veins of the gods. Because apparently, wet dirt smell didn't sound fancy enough. That's fair. But behind the poetry is some funky biochemistry. When rain hits dry soil, it traps air bubbles that shoot upwards, aerosolizing microscopic particles into the air. Think of it as rain unlocking a smell-based confetti cannon. Just think of it just like that. That is science at its finest. Um, the star of the show, Geosmin, a compound made by soil-dwelling bacteria like streptomyces. It's earthy, musty, and powerfully nostalgic. Humans can detect it at five parts per trillion, which is equivalent of one drop in an Olympic swimming pool. Our noses are basically geosmin bloodhounds. And I was curious, you know, if people could really bottle this up, making colognes or perfumes, you know, mist your place, make it like a little Febreze, a little petrichor Febreze. Uh, so I went online, you know, on Reddit, found someone who, who was like really into making his own perfumes and colognes. And he was like, it doesn't smell as good. He said, he's like, my mom came into my room. <laughs> my mom came into her room and she said, she was like, it smelled like a cellar. You know, that's my source. Some guy's mom, oh, Jeremy, why are you making my basement smell like a cellar with all your perfumes? Like, move out already. Quit, quit tinkering with your cellar perfumes. <laughs> a plants add to the scent too. During dry spells, they release oil that lingers on surfaces. Do you have to? Do you have to? Do you have to? Let it linger. And the rain acts like a pressure washer, sending those planty volatiles into the air along with geosmin. So the smell you're enjoying is a cocktail of bacteria, plants, and erosion. Again, not as romantic sounding. And here's the evolutionary twist. Some scientists think we were wired to like it. Early humans may have associated that smell with the arrival of fresh water and fertile ground. So the reason you breathe deeply after a summer storm might be the same reason your ancestors didn't die of dehydration. Camels, for what it's worth, can smell geosmin from miles away. It's an evolutionary superpower for sniffing out oases in the desert, which honestly makes them the original petrichor influencers. Um, so there you have it. Petrichor is the smell of bacteria, plants, and survival, blasted into the air by raindrops and inhaled by humans who think sidewalks smell like hope. Thanks to all my sources, which can be found in the YouTube description. Please leave a comment, rate, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. At Smartest Year Ever on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, at Smartest Year Ever, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts. Check them out for those daily clips. In the meantime, stay curious, stay clever on our quest to become the world's greatest conversationalists. I will see you tomorrow in the smartest year ever.